All right, so hi again, I'm Chef Dennis, and we're at the Homo Sassa Seafood Festival, and I'm here with Darcy, I'm and we're here. in her, what would you Wild call this? Wild Sassa Seafood Trailer. Wild Sassa Seafood Trailer, that's pretty cool. Yep. And uh, you're making your legendary stone crab chowder. That's right. Among other things. Mm -hmm. This is all the stone crab meat? This is all the stone crab meat, crab meat handpicked by me. <laughs> handpicked by lovely Darcy. The meat is uh, succulent and sweet. Not a lot of people are familiar with it. They're more familiar with um, snow crab or king crab. And um, stone crab is um, is uh, significant to our area. Right. It's mainly only from Florida. It's a sustainable resource. The only sustainable resource in the U.S. In really? The fisheries. Yeah, which not a lot of people know. Wow, and that's because when they do fish them, they have to take one claw that's right. and leave the other. And it regenerates itself over a certain amount of time. That's wild. Yeah. I know they'll regenerate both, but you're not giving the guy a fighting chance to survive if you take both of his claws. Exactly. So that's a good thing you're only taking one. Exactly. Come on in. One minute. So this is a working seafood <laughs> trail. You want to say yeah. hi? Come on yeah. here and say hi. This is Shannon. She's here. Hello. <laughs> so what are you doing today, Shannon? I am assisting Darcy. With uh, anything that she needs. <laughs> well, that's good. And making yes. people smile when they come to the window. Yes. You know, that's lots important. of techniques. That, uh, I'm sure you do. I'm not even going to go there. Because <laughs> I saw one of the techniques when I walked up. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Happy to see you. Thanks so much. Yeah. Um, but anyway, let's get back to food. What else are you making today besides your chat? Well, every weekend, which is... It's a little hard at first for people to understand, but the menu actually does change because when um, you're involved with seafood, everything is dependent upon the weather, mother nature, it's seasonal, um, which is really a nice um, treat for people because you know you're getting something fresh. Well, you got the dock right here and the boat right here. Yeah, we'll turn that camera around for y'all. Yeah, when you we'll show them. <laughs> I'll show them when we go out. So, so it's straight from the fisherman. Stay is, straight from is the, the fisherman. Is kind of the concept. Yeah. That's great. So what are some of the things you get to choose from that they bring in? So in season, let's say, oh, well, stone crab is in season. Um, blue crab, local live blue crab are all year long for this area. We're six miles from the Gulf. And um, our family has a fish market as well, Shelly Seafood Market. And that kind of is how this concept works is because we go hand in hand. They, um, you know, they procure seafood from other fishermen in the area as well as themselves. We have boats that go out. And... Um, they also pick her from a spear fisherman, um, which is a real treat. Okay. Some very, very fresh, some of the freshest fish you'll ever find. And where do these spear fish around here? Um, the big one that is always on people's minds and in high demand is hogfish. Okay. And um, more familiar in the Keys, kind of where it came, where it came from. And the grouper is uh, king here. Um, we get, there's upwards of 19 different kinds of grouper. I, I know. I did get to go out fishing Friday. Oh, you did? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I know, no way an outdoorsman, so it was a unique experience yeah. for me. I know you might find that hard to believe. No, I won't. Yeah. But, uh, With your laptop or your laptop? No, I didn't take that. I did take this, though. So we put that okay. away. Um, but no, I, I was dressed for the occasion, but I actually looked like a fisherman. And he made me hold, the first time he made me hold a group, I caught a group. I actually awesome. caught a group all by myself. That is so cool. And he made me hold it, and I'm like, really? I'm a chef, but usually I put gloves on when I handle seafood. I got my fingers in the gills, and I'm holding yeah. it. Straighten it out. We're going to drop it. Straighten it out. Straight from the fisherman. Yeah. yeah. Did you play it when you get... He filleted it for me, and they cooked it uh, that night for me. And cool. it was I had to send it back to the kitchen because there was more food than I could eat. I had caught that, yeah. and it was huge. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And, and also a trout, and they cooked it all up for me. brought me this humongous platter of seafood. I'm like, oh, that's all I can eat. Take it back to the kitchen and let everybody eat it. Uh, but grouper is great. And, and I, what do you grouper do is grouper? mild. It's white. It's flaky. I, I love um, uh, when we're at the fish market, because we work there as well. Um, when we're at the fish market, I really enjoy. Um, there's so many different kinds of fish in this area. Um, a lot of small reef fish, a lot of different unique names. So don't ever be scared of the names. Oh, no. People. Because like between sheep's head, grunts, and gag, um, they're just, uh, people get turned off by it because they don't know. You have to educate yeah. them and, ex and explain. And some, you know, people will come back a week later and go, that's the best fish I yeah. ever had. Oh. <laughs> so. Yeah, you got to try it. E yeah. Everything. I mean, or you... trust the people that you, yes. the, um, you know, your fishmonger. 
And, you know, that's a, I'm glad you said that because that's a very good point. I'm always talking about when you buy fish, when you buy meat, when you buy produce, you need to trust the person you're buying it from. You need to develop a relationship, and you're going to start to learn what I like. Now, I'm going to tell you what I like, and then you're going to point me in the right direction. And that's, that's always the best way to go. Uh, my friend Miles. Family friendly business can yeah. do can do that for you, too. Absolutely. Instead of a, like, a big corporation, it's a right. little bit more difficult. And where you don't always see the same person all the time. Mm -hmm. You don't know if one guy's really good, then that guy's not there, and you don't know what to do. But this is a family operation. Yeah, I started, especially at the fish market, it's... One of the best feelings is not only knowing somebody's name when they come in, but also knowing kind of what they like and, and being able to say, guess what? We got in a fish that you're going to love. I can't wait for you to try it. It's such a cool feeling. That is. And you have some of the best, freshest seafood in the world here. So that's Florida. what Florida is, is known for. And this is the nature coast. That's right. You know, I keep going to different coasts. They all have these different names, <laughs> and I love it. Yeah. I, I just, Especially at home, assassin, say that t ten times fast. You know, know nobody what? gets that. I wanted to make sure I pronounced that one correctly. You know, I've been learning all the Indian names, and yeah. I still haven't quite gotten that. One. That was pretty easy. Yeah, that no, Well, you get it after a while, and people, it's just like Mississippi. You're like, just spell it, just like you say it. You know? <laughs> yeah, but I'm really surprised that my first question when I entered Citrus County is, "Where's all the citrus?" Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, everybody asks that. You know, and they explain the whole. Uh, but it's just well, there's come pots a little bit further yeah. north, and we did see some. Yeah, but it's not big. I mean, what you would think citrus was planted from front to back? A lot more berries. Coming yeah, up. blueberries. A lot of um, there's so many more um, uh, wineries, mm -hmm. more than I ever had known really? before. Now I didn't hear that at all. Yep, there's a lot popping up, and a lot of different vineyards. Well, yep. that's so that is kind of a trip. future, um, you know, to look out for. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Wine's a wonderful wine. Maybe afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Come back a little chatter and wine. No, I know. Pretty happy. Uh, but no, this is just great. I thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day. You. I know you're getting ready and we you have, have to make. We have a big festival this weekend. Yeah. Lots of people come from near and far um, just for it because, uh, you know, it started um, from the fishermen. The fishermen actually started it in this town. And this is, it's a small fishing village on, um, on the water. And that's kind of, it's quaint. And it's beautiful in old Florida, and we're happy to be here. And if you want fresh seafood, let me tell you something. This is the place to be. That's right, literally. Literally. Off the boat. Off the boat. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really you. appreciate your time, Darcy. Awesome. I'll let you get back to work, and have a great day. And I'm going to go out and enjoy some of the seafood festival, yeah. and I'll be sure to post more things about it. Later. We look forward to seeing you guys in the future.